हेलो फ्रेंड्स होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग गुड टुडे वी आर एट मिसिसागा टेम्पोरेरी ड्राइव टेस्ट सेंटर एंड वी आर गोइंग टू डू द जी रूट सो देयर आर टू रूट्स बेसिकली एट मिसिसागा टेम्पोरेरी ड्राइव टेस्ट सेंटर द नंबर वन रूट इज वेयर वी गो फ्रॉम रैथबर्न रोड एंड देन वी रिटर्न बैक फ्रॉम द बर्न हेमथोर्प रोड वेयर एज इन द सेकेंड रूट वी गो फ्रॉम द बर्नहेम थॉर्प रोड एज वेल एज वी रिटर्न बैक फ्रॉम द बर्नहेम थॉर्प रोड और दे मे आस्क यू टू कम बैक फ्रॉम द रैथबर्न रोड बट ओवरऑल इट इज़ द सेम रूट सो फर्स्ट आई एम गोइंग टू कवर द डिटेल रूट एंड देन आई विल एड द सेक्शन ऑफ द बर्नहेम थॉर्प रोड वेयर वी विल गो टू द हाईवे फोर ओ थ्री फ्यू ग्राउंड रूल्स हेयर ऑलवेज ड्राइव एट द स्पीड लिमिट ड्राइव एट अ सेफ डिस्टेंस चेक ऑल थ्री बैक मिररर्स एवरी टेन टू फिफ्टीन सेकेंड and always check while crossing any intersection so always turn your head left right left now guys please feel free to ask any questions that you may have for this route i have followed two to three instructors so i know a lot about this route the very first thing is that the examiner will inspect your car in inspection the examiner will check for signals front and back and then examiner will check for honk as well as the brake lights and then once satisfied examiner will come sit in your car and then after doing some formalities on on the tablet the examiner will ask you to take a left turn and go out of the parking so before moving forward make sure you scan 360 degree give your signal and once you are ready you check your blind spot and then take a turn and now we are going out of the parking of the complex towards central parkway west drive cautiously because there are so many cars some parking some cars are coming out of the parking some cars are parking their vehicle there are many pedestrians as well so here is a one way stop sign which is only for us so we are going to stop and then look for any oncoming traffic and wait for the traffic to clear before taking the turn so wait for the traffic to clear and then make a turn the speed limit on central parkway west is 50 km per hour drive in the middle of the lane while stopping maintain proper safe distance from the car in front of you that is you should be able to see the pavement and the tire and now when your turn will come then check for the traffic on both sides so check the intersection left right left maintain safe distance from the car in front of you and now this the road that we are presently on is credit view road the speed limit is 50 km per hour drive at a safe distance whenever crossing any intersection always look for traffic check left right left now the examiner will ask us to take the right turn on the ratburn road give signal while turning check your blind spot and your mirror the speed limit on ratburn road is 50 km per hour drive in the second lane and do not change the lane to the first lane because we do not drive in the passing lane and we stay in the driving lane check all three back mirrors every 10 to 15 seconds while crossing the intersection look left right left now we are approaching a school sign so if the lights are flashing yellow then please reduce your speed to 40 km per hour
Drive in the middle of the lane. Always check all three back mirrors every 10 to 15 seconds. Stop at a safe distance from the car ahead of you so that you can see the pavement and the tire. Always look left, right, left for traffic or pedestrian when crossing any intersection. If you like my content, please like the video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Check all three back mirrors and then examiner will ask us to do a lane change. So we will go to the left lane. And then after this intersection or any other place, examiner will ask us to come back to the right lane. So please do that whenever it is safe to do so and never be in a hurry. Check your mirrors. Check traffic on intersection. And now examiner will ask us to move to the left lane because we are turning left from here on Mavis Road. Again we have to change the lane to the left lane. Always change the lane from dotted line and try not to change when there is a solid line. Stop at a safe distance. Check your back mirrors while stopping. The speed limit on Mavis Road is 60 km per hour. As soon as we complete our turn on Mavis Road, the examiner will ask us to change two lanes to the right because we will be turning right on highway 403. Maintain safe distance from the car in front of you and be in the rightmost lane as we are turning right. The speed limit on the curve is 40 km per hour. So while taking a turn, maintain the speed limit of around 40 to 45 km and once the road straightens up, start accelerating your car. The speed limit on highway 403 is 100 km per hour. Once the dotted line starts, give your signal to merge onto the left lane and then merge when it is safe to do so. While merging, make sure you give your signal, check your mirror and blind spot. And then examiner will ask you to do one more lane change. So make sure that you maintain the speed limit while making lane changes. Always give signal, check your mirror and blind spot before changing lane. And now the examiner will ask us to move to the right lane as we are taking the exit and going towards Horontario Street. The speed limit on the curve is 60 km per hour. So decrease your speed to 60 km per hour and Maintain the second lane from the left because we will be turning in the second lane. Check all three mirrors every 10 to 15 seconds. Stop at a safe distance from the car in front of you.
and now we are turning left we are turning left from second lane so we will turn left on the second lane the speed limit on hur ontario street is 60 kilometers per hour but after turning left now we are going to turn right and go back to highway 403 So the examiner will ask us to turn right on highway 403. The speed limit on the curve is 30 kilometers per hour. Make sure you do not cut any lines, any solid lines, and you drive in the middle of the lane on 30 kilometers per hour. Once the road straightens up, start accelerating your car. The speed limit on Highway 403 is 100 kilometers per hour. Accelerate to 100 kilometers per hour and consume at least 70-80 percent of the ramp, and then merge to the left lane. Always give your signal, check your mirror and blind spot before merging or changing lanes. The examiner may ask us to change the lane one more time. drive at a safe distance of 2 to 3 seconds from the car in front of you always check all three mirrors every 10 to 15 seconds maintain the speed limit of 100 kilometers per hour and now examiner will ask us to move to the right lane because we are exiting highway and going towards mavis road maintain the speed check all three mirrors every 10 to 15 seconds now at the curve the speed limit is 60 kilometers per hour so deaccelerate your car and then drive at 60 kilometers per hour in the second lane from the left as we will be turning in the second lane stop at a safe distance from the car in front of you from the second lane we are turning left onto the second lane on mavis road the speed limit on mavis road is 60 km per hour If there is less traffic or no traffic drive at speed limit or if there is too much traffic then drive at the speed of the traffic and now it is better to merge onto the rightmost lane and drive on that there may be some cars that are merging ahead of you make sure you give them proper gap and drive at a safe distance always be vigilant for cars that are just ahead you and giving signal to move to your lane always check your mirror every 10 to 15 seconds and always check left right left when crossing any intersection and now examiner will ask us to take a right turn on burnham thorpe road stop at a safe distance maintain your speed limit on all the roads
Now when there is no car ahead of you and it is still the red signal, treat it as a stop sign, wait for 3 seconds and then if there is no traffic, then make the turn. The examiner will ask us to move to the leftmost lane because we will be turning left. The speed limit on Burnham Thorpe Road is 60 km per hour. Check all three back mirrors every 10 to 15 seconds. Check for traffic, check left, right, left while crossing any intersection. Always give space to any car that is merging ahead of you. Maintain safe distance and drive at safe distance. And now the examiner will ask us to turn left on Erindale Street. Sorry, it is Erindale Station Road. When there is no advance signal, then you should wait for the oncoming traffic to pass. So now I am waiting in the middle of the intersection because there is a lot of traffic coming from the front. So I will only make a turn when it is safe to do so. If I will not be able to make a turn, then I will wait until the light turns yellow and then I will have to clear the intersection and now as there is no traffic in front of me so I am making the turn and then immediately after making the turn change the lane to the right and the speed limit on Arendale Street Road is 60 km per hour and then we are turning right towards the complex so we are going back to the drive test center No speed limit is posted over here but as we are not on any road and we are in a complex so do not drive above 30 km per hour or based on the traffic you could also drive at 20 km per hour. Be careful there may be any car that is exiting the parking slot. And now the examiner will ask us to park in any slot on the right side. Now we, are, we only have to do the front parking and not the back parking in G test. And now we are going to do the second route. In the second route we will go from Burnham Thorpe Road to Highway 403. So again, while moving, always scan the intersection, drive slow on this patch, look out for the traffic, look out for any car that is coming out of the parking slot. Now there is a one way stop, so only for us. So we have to stop for at least 3 seconds and then look out for traffic. If there is any traffic coming then we have to wait and then merge onto the rightmost lane on Central Parkway West. And now from here we are going to take a right turn on Burnham Thorpe Road.
as the signal is green so i am not stopping and i am taking a turn the speed limit on burnham thorpe road is 60 kilometers per hour you could drive in the second lane from the left or in the third lane that is up to you but never drive never drive in the leftmost lane until instructor or examiner has asked you to do so Always check the intersection left right left whenever crossing any intersection. Check all three back mirrors every 10 to 15 seconds. Drive on the speed limit and do not exceed the speed limit. Now we are going to merge onto the left lane because we will be turning left. But make sure you never change your lane in between of an intersection. Drive at speed limit, maintain safe distance and drive in the middle of the lane. And now we are going to turn left onto the Mavis road. Give signal, check your mirror and blind spot before changing your lane. So I am standing in the second lane. It is up to you whether you want to stand in the first lane or second lane. Follow the instructions given by your examiner. Maintain safe distance from the car in front of you. While stopped, you should be able to see the tire and the road. From the second lane, turn into the second lane. Never turn into the first lane from the second lane. And then examiner may ask you immediately to move to the rightmost lane because we will be taking highway in some time. The speed limit on Mavis Road is 60 km per hour. And now we are going to merge onto the same road where we are going to take the right turn onto Highway 403. I hope you like the content of the video. Please like the video, subscribe to my channel.